What's happening guys? Today's video, we're gonna be talking about ethical hacking as a career. And this is one of the suggestions that I got over and over again in the comments section. So I decided to make a really quick video on it. So we're basically just gonna be going over what ethical hacking is. And if you're interested in it, it's gonna be a nice little overview where we talk about what it is and what you'll expect to do in the career itself. So if you appreciate this type of content, let me know by gently tapping that like button, hitting the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and comment down below any thoughts, comments, criticisms, etc. And most importantly, share this with somebody else who you think would get value from it. And with that being said, let's jump into it right now. All right, so when you hear the word hacker, you probably think about somebody who gains unauthorized access to a computer or computer system. And they typically do this with malicious intent. However, there is another type of hacker that does the same thing. They gain access to computers or computer systems, but they do it for good reasons. This is called an ethical hacker or a white hat hacker. Now these people also hack for a living, but they do it to improve security systems, not exploit them. So what exactly is ethical hacking? Ethical hacking is where you identify and exploit weaknesses in computer systems or security networks. And then after that, you figure out ways to improve those weaknesses and protect them from cyber attacks. So ethical hackers use a lot of the same techniques and tactics that black hat hackers use, but they do it with the permission of the person who owns the website or computer system. And an ethical hacker's goal is to find those vulnerabilities as fast as possible before somebody from the outside, AKA a black hat hacker can do it. Now, ethical hackers sometimes work for the organization itself, but oftentimes they'll actually work as consultants. So they'll get hired from an outside organization and you hire them to basically hack you, which is kind of funny, but it's also incredibly useful and very, very important. When a company gets hacked, sometimes money can be stolen in the form of cryptocurrency or bank transfers. But a lot of the time, the data itself that is stored within the company is even more valuable than money. And when data gets breached, it can do a lot of reputation damage to the company. The company can get sued and all kinds of other bad things. So this can cost companies billions of dollars. Now, by the way, if you're still in the phase where you're trying to figure out what the best possible career for you is, I basically have a six step process that has helped thousands of people figure out what their dream career is. You can check that out down in the description below as well as the pinned comment. It's completely free. Now, there are three different types of hackers. There are black hat hackers, white hat hackers, and what are known as gray hat hackers. Black hat, we already talked about. Basically, they're trying to hack into systems for malicious intent. They're trying to steal cryptocurrency or data or something along those lines. White hat hackers are ethical hackers that basically try to hack into a system to do it faster than the black hat hackers can do it. And then gray hat hackers are somewhere in between. So they don't necessarily have permission from the company to hack into their systems, but at the same time, they don't have malicious intent. And there have been many stories of gray hat hackers who have hacked into companies and then they, you know, make a video or make some sort of demonstration to show the company the weakness that it has. And then the company ends up hiring them or something along those lines. Now, as of writing this, there is no formal education required to become an ethical hacker. But with that being said, most ethical hackers do come from a background of having a degree in either computer science or some sort of IT related major. In addition to this, they typically have several years of experience either working in a software development role or some sort of IT cybersecurity infrastructure role. But it is becoming more and more common to see people get into this without having to get a degree. So like I said before, black hat hackers or ethical hackers are gonna be using a lot of the same tools that they would be doing if they were black hat. This includes network scanners to find open ports and systems vulnerable to attack. They might also use password crackers to brute force their way into systems. In addition to this, ethical hackers may they also use social engineering to try to get people to reveal information that they shouldn't. And in order to do this, an ethical hacker has to have a deep understanding of the system itself. And it requires a lot of creativity and out of the box thinking. Now, this is another example of one of those new fields where there isn't an established path in order to become an ethical hacker. It's a very new field. It's extremely lucrative. Glassdoor has them making about $115,000 a year. But typically speaking, when you look into this, you see people who have degrees in some sort of technology related field or they got a degree in a non-technology related field like maybe engineering and then they moved into a technology role, got some experience. Typically this is gonna be in software development, IT, cybersecurity, something along those lines. And then after getting a few years of experience, they move over into an ethical hacker role. So there isn't a ton of data on the demand for this career because of the fact that it's so new. But with that being said, from everyone I've talked to, there is a massive amount of demand for people who are really good at hacking into systems, but they do it ethically. So in 
conclusion, if you're somebody who is a really creative, out-of-the-box thinker, and you're also relatively analytical, and you're good with tech-related stuff, ethical hacking definitely is something that you should look into. If you like this video, check out my other video right here. I made it just for you. Go ahead, gently tap the like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and comment down below any thoughts, comments, criticisms, etc. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.